My, my thing is, why haven't they opened up the... Oh, right as I ask it. There he goes. Right as I ask it. He starts looking in the back. Yeah, I was like, why haven't they been looking in the back under that tarp yet? You know, the body's in there. Come on now. No, seriously, it's just our daily lives. Just real life, <laughs> daily lives. Come along. Sorry, my window's so dirty so you can barely see, but we've got, I don't know how many. One, two, three, four, five, at least five cop cars for this one truck. Something's up. They're searching the whole thing. Man, that's the kind of truck that makes you think hidden bodies. Look at that. Oh, my God. Tarp over the back. Five or six police cars. Tearing the entire thing apart. Right in front of my house. He's getting in. Oh, Jesus. Never a dull moment. I've said a hundred times that I want out of this neighborhood. Are you? Would you go out and see what the hell was going on? <laughs> I know some of my neighbors are out watching. But I know better. It's taken me a few years to learn. Julie, just keep your curiosity where it belongs. So who's this guy over here? Is that another cop or is that the guy who owns the car? Truck? Whatever? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look around and see which neighbors are out so I can see if I can get some details on what's going on. What The weird thing is I've been sitting in my living room for mm, an hour and it was only I just like looked up and noticed, oh, lights. I don't know how long they've been here. Another adventure. I'm going to be investing in some heavy drapes to go in front of these windows in this room. Mostly to help with noise. But hey, maybe then I won't like <laughs> notice any of this stuff anymore. Well, except that the front door is glass, so. No, I guess I probably, I'll still see the lights. My... My thing is, why haven't they opened up the... Oh, right as I ask it. There he goes. Right as I ask it. 
He starts looking in the back. Yeah, I was like, why haven't they been looking in the back under that tarp yet? You know, the body's in there. Come on now. Shoot, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But come on. Tarp. <laughs> I watch enough true crime. Jeez. I'm going to be honest, the thing that really, as I get older, the stuff that used to be exciting to me, now it just scares the hell out of me. Because it's like... <sighs> You don't know how things are going to go, and it's right in front of my house with my husband and kids asleep downstairs. So, yeah. The truck is definitely not someone from the neighborhood. I've never seen the truck before, so it's just someone that was stopped. Oh, so that guy over there is a cop. Oh, okay. The one that I was like, who's that guy? No, that's a cop. They sure are digging through it. Like, I have never seen anything like this, like, on the side of the road where they are just, like, digging, tearing a car apart. Every little inch. This is making me super embarrassed of my dirty windows. <laughs> of all the things to think of. Part of me wants to stop recording and try to get on the, what is it called, scanner. Are they going to tear the door apart? They are. They're like tearing the door apart. But on the side of the road, doesn't that seem weird? Isn't that the kind of thing you would do? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Not on the side of the road. But now, the, yeah, now this guy's digging into the back. Pulling stuff out. This is crazy. I don't know what any of it means. And honestly, I'm starting to get really nervous. Um, that's a suitcase. Like a traveling bag. And he's opening it. Um, no, but I mean, like if it were going to be, I mean... If it were going to be something really awful, they wouldn't just open it on the side of the road like that, right? Now he's looking under, under the truck, the underside of it. They wouldn't, right? Like, they wouldn't, um, I mean, they would, wouldn't they pull it off to somewhere? Or close off the area, right? Like, if they were, oh, I don't know. But he's, he's digging in. But why? Pulling out clothes. Honestly, I kind of want to go wake up my husband, but I think he would just be more annoyed than anything. <laughs> he has work in the morning. And he'd be like, well, there's it's nothing to do with me and nothing I can do about it. So, and he's right. He is. I hear a woman's voice hollering now that I've got the window open. These guys are going to get rained on. It sucks. I don't know what she's saying, but she doesn't sound happy. And 
Now the cop has opened up the back of his truck. He got something out. I don't know what. He's bringing something over. Oh, a stepladder. He's getting, he's getting for real. Oh, he says, I'm short. I'd like to see above. Why don't they just pull the whole tarp off? You know? And come on, other than bodies, like, I mean, would they do this much for drugs, do you think? So definitely some of my neighbors are out, I saw, but it'd be weird to just go and you know, howdy do, <laughs> even for me. Oh, there come some other neighbors though. Coming down the road. Okay, he's putting the stepladder back. Try to listen. Oh, we have another cop just showed up. So that makes what six? There go some other neighbors walking away. Where are they going? With backpacks and carrying stuff? I don't know. Or were they people from the truck? Because they don't look familiar. I don't know who that lady is. Now she's going the other way. If it was their truck, they wouldn't just leave, right? Especially where it's being searched. They probably wouldn't be allowed to leave. Oh, now they're bringing out the dog. See, aren't you glad we stuck around? God. Or no. I don't know. That doesn't look like a cop with saggy pants and stuff. Maybe that's the truck owner bringing his dog back to put him in. Yeah, that ain't no cop dog. Is it? God, I don't know. No, this is a guy putting his dog back in his truck. It's gotta be. Yeah. Right? Has to be, because look, he's like putting stuff back. So that's gotta be the truck owner putting his stuff away. Right? Like putting his stuff away, putting the dog away. What an evening. But then why are they all still watching him if they didn't find anything? And why'd they pull him over in the first place? And how did I miss that all this was happening? <laughs> well, I was watching some YouTube videos and keeping myself to myself, I guess. Yeah, he's not a cop. That's gotta be his truck. But they're still, all the cops are still hanging out. So guy's on the phone. Or is he recording? Could be recording, I guess.
sure wish I had some details. <laughs> oh, that damn human curiosity thing. Or maybe he's talking to someone, like, FaceTiming, or... I don't know. But there's several cops. Oh, some noticed me. That's all right. But there's some just bunched around, standing, talking. Now he's having a smoke. I'll look out the other window and see if I can see anything else going on. But none of the cop cars have left. They're all still hanging out, lights flashing, so I don't know. And this guy's cop's still just standing there. No, oh, for a sec though, I thought for sure they were bringing in a drug dog or something, but no. Seems to be it's just his dog. When I say that I want to move, I've got a lot of reasons for it. And the regularity of the whole police force showing up in my neighborhood well, that's a big part of it. <laughs> yeah, I really think he's recording all of them. That's why he's got his phone out. Which, I mean, I totally understand. That's just, you know, standard now. You record. Look at me, I'm here recording. But I'm also in my own house. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, he's starting his truck. He's still recording. What do you think of this cop's like posture? The one there on the right. The way he's standing, you know? Doesn't seem weird to you? Like a like he's ready, you know? Doesn't that seem like that? My sister made me some tiramisu just loaded with espresso. So, Mama's pretty wired tonight. <laughs> Isn't that just weird, though, that he's standing there? In the middle of the road? I mean, like, what are they waiting for? Okay, now the guy with the truck is on the phone. He's not just, like, recording anymore. He's talking on the phone. Other cops are chit-chatting out behind one of the other cars. Now they're coming around, getting in their car. So I'm guessing maybe they're leaving. I don't know.
So still, <clears throat> there are all of the same police cars. Like, none of them have left. And nothing's been happening. Guy put his dog back in, had himself a smoke, got on the phone, now he's holding the phone up. Nobody looks like they've been arrested, but of course, like I said, I missed the beginning of whatever was going on. He's holding the phone up. What's that about? For them to hear? Now he's walking over to the cop. I think he like took his phone over to them. Now he's heading back. I guess the thing I'm stuck on is, why do they need six cop cars? I mean, yeah, when they were, like, searching or whatever, but nothing's going on now. And, like, I mean, if he had had a weapon, wouldn't they have found it by now? You know? Or anything else? Bodies. God knows. <clears throat> really need to go to the bathroom, but I'm like, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Okay, it does look like one of the cop cars has left, but they didn't drive through. They had to have like backed out and gone the other way because I didn't see him leave. Oh, he's in his truck. Um, I don't know. I mean, is it all over? Well, there goes someone else. Possibly getting into the truck. Just doesn't look like anyone was arrested. It's quite a to-do to not even arrest anyone. Yeah, he's got his lights on. Hmm, wait a minute. Nope, cop's not letting him go. Okay, there goes one of the cop cars. So, I mean, it's it's gotta be done, right? So why are they still keeping him there? There goes another cop car. And another one. I'll double check if there were any more. Yeah, so now we are down to one, two. We're down to two and what it looks like a, an unmarked. So two marked and one unmarked. Cop cars still here. Well, it's not likely there's anything more to see, is my thought. Now I'm at the other window, because the cops went up, two of them, one on each side. Yes, another dirty window. Judge me. And the one in the driver's side, he brought with him like a clipboard. So there's yet another detail. He brought a clipboard. Wish I'd been recording from right here the whole time. This is way better. Well, now we know for next time there's drama, we'll record from right here. Got to be filling out some kind of papers. Is it So is that like going to be a ticket? And if it's just a ticket, I mean, why'd they tear his whole car apart? Okay, so 
He's got his clipboard. They're heading back. Getting in their car. Cars. Truck is leaving. Truck is leaving. He's got his papers he's putting away. <laughs> And flashing lights are done. Off goes that one. And I'm assuming, let's see, there's one other, one other that should be, yep, here he comes right now. And there goes the last one. I'm gonna try to go to bed. God, what a night. <laughs>